Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, today met remotely with the newly appointed Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, U.S. Fifth Fleet Vice Admiral Samuel Paparo. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the long standing ties between Bahrain and the U.S. and underscored the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation, particularly within military and defense, in order to consolidate regional security, stability, and peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed Vice Admiral Paparo, wishing him success on his new appointment. Regional and international topics of common interest were also discussed. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, to participate in the 22nd remote meeting for the ministers responsible for environment affairs in the GCC countries. The meeting aims to discuss a number of topics to considerable cooperation or to consolidate cooperation at all levels concerning preserving the environment in light of the coronavirus. His Highness Sheikh Faisal conveyed the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad and his wishes for the success of the meeting. He also conveyed the congratulations of His Highness to the newly appointed GCC Secretary General Naif Falah Mbarak Al Hajraf and his wishes of further progress and success in fulfilling his duties. His Highness Sheikh Faisal commended the decisions and recommendations of the ministers which will help the environmental work in the GCC to reach a sustainable future. The ministers approved a number of topics and recommendations concerning the global environmental challenges facing the GCC as well as the advancement in sustainable development related to implementing the decisions of the GCC Supreme Council for Environment on consolidating joint action following up on the operational plans of the GCC's environmental strategy and the development of the Gulf Environmental Gate in addition to the upcoming procedures to be adopted in light of the coronavirus. A number of recommendations were adopted including the Convention on Preserving Wildlife and its Natural Habitats and International Cooperation with States, Regional and International Organizations and bodies in the field of environment protection and sustainable development. At the end of the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Faisal expressed thanks and appreciation to the UAE's Minister of Climate Change and Environment and head of the current session for the efforts exerted by the UAE throughout his presidency of the current Environmental Affairs session. He also expressed thanks to all committee members and officials at the General Secretariat for their continuous cooperation to further strengthen joint Gulf action. His Highness Sheikh Faisal added that Bahrain is proud to host the following session of the meeting in the kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office in London with the UK Secretary of State for Foreign Commonwealth and Development Affairs, Dominic Raab, in light of uh, the Minister's visit to the UK. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the deep rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the UK in light of the mutual keenness on bolstering bilateral cooperation and coordination. He expressed pride and appreciation for the development the relations witnessed in various fields, hailing UK. UK's vital role in maintaining regional and international security and stability. For his part, the UK Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs expressed appreciation for the Minister's visit, which reflects joint cooperation. He affirmed the importance of continuing visits and coordination to increase cooperation between the two countries, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met in London with the Minister for South Asia and the Commonwealth, Lord Tariq Ahmed, in light of his visit to the UK. The Minister expressed pride and appreciation for the course of relations between Bahrain and the UK, which are based on mutual respect, appreciation, understanding, and communication. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering cooperation with the UK in the field of human rights. For his part, Lord Ahmed affirmed the UK's keenness on continuing various means of cooperation with Bahrain for the two countries interests. He hailed the efforts of the kingdom in developing the field of protecting human rights and its many achievements in the field. The Bahraini ambassador to UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the UK ambassador to Bahrain, Roderick Drummond, and the delegation accompanying the minister were also present. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif Van Rashid Zayani, met the Minister of State for Middle East and North Africa, James Cleverly, as part of his official visit to the UK. The minister expressed Bahrain's pride in its distinguished historic friendship with the UK, hailing its continuous development in all fields. He also noted the efforts of the British government to protect security and stability in the region. For his part, Minister Cleverly praised the great progress in the bilateral cooperation between the two countries, stressing the British government's interest in strengthening and developing joint cooperation at all levels. He also wished the kingdom a further progress and prosperity. The two sides discussed ways to develop their ties in addition to a number of regional and international issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the ambassador of Bahrain to the UK, Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the UK ambassador to Bahrain, Radi Drummond, and the accompanying delegation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence affirmed the importance of intensifying efforts in the upcoming period to highlight the regionally and globally unique Bahraini model in promoting religious freedom, pluralism and a cultural diversity. The chairman of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed the center's commitment to promoting the culture of tolerance and peaceful coexistence and converting to the digital organization of events to keep pace with the conditions imposed by COVID-19 pandemic. He added that a number of plans and programs are being implemented in light of the visions and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in promoting peace, tolerance and coexistence among all communities and civilizations. The Bahraini ambassador to Egypt and the kingdom's permanent representative to the League of Arab States, Hisham bin Mohammed al Jodar, participated in the 154th session of the Arab League Council as one of the permanent delegates at the headquarters of the General Secretariat in preparation for the virtual session at the level of Arab foreign ministers, which will be held tomorrow. The ambassador affirmed that the permanent delegates meeting are preparing for the Arab foreign ministers' meetings in terms of related draft agenda and decisions and submitting them for discussion and approval. The draft agenda included a number of political, security, social, health and administrative items of interest to joint Arab action, Turkish and Iranian interventions in the internal affairs of Arab countries, in addition to developments of the situation in Libya and other political crises in the region. It also discussed a number of social and health issues, including the Arab cooperation response to COVID-19. Chief Executive of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Osama bin Abdullah al absi received the U.S. Embassy Charge d'Affaires, Margaret Nardi. al absi emphasized his keenness on further developing the labor market and upgrading the existing systems to achieve goals and preserve the rights of all parties. He referred to the proactive efforts made by the Kingdom to address the negative effects of COVID-19, explaining that Bahrain has launched a six-month grace period to rectify the conditions of free visa expatriate workers from the beginning of April until the end of 2020. He also pointed out other measures taken by the kingdom like suspending the monthly work fees and the fees for issuing and renewing work permits for expatriate workers. For her part, the U.S. Embassy Charge d'Affaires praised the pioneering role played by Bahrain in the field of human rights and preserving the rights of all. She praised the tireless efforts made by Bahrain during the coronavirus pandemic and lauded the kingdom's periodic review of the labor market regulations. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,636, with 294 recoveries, 661 registered new cases and two deaths. 78 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 579 are contract of active cases and four are travel related. The deceased are a 51-year-old and 8-year-old female citizens. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.